For me, I think the main reason a graduate should go into recruitment is that it offers a lot of variety in the role. You learn a lot of different things. You learn about business development, you learn to develop your sales skills, you're also working in a HR environment. Um, so you learn a lot of different things which are all transferable at the end of the day. Um, and it gives you a good way of finding out about the area, finding out if you do, you know, I studied HR, so it gives you a way to find out if it is an area that you're interested in working in. And then the variety and the challenge every day in the job really offers a lot to a graduate to develop themselves um, and to move on from there then with that skill. Every day is different, every hour can be different and you need to be able to move with that. Um, typically I suppose starting off you're going to be doing a lot of the groundwork, you're going to be learning all the basic skills and you need to be prepared for some, some repetitiveness I suppose, some, monotonous, some monotony in the job but you need to be able to move on um, to learn how to do all the basic skills. So you're advertising, you're updating jobs, you're doing all the groundwork for the consultants around you. Um, you're going to have a lot of training on business development, learning how to cold call businesses, you know, to introduce yourself to them. You're going to learn all of those skills, but at the end of the day, you could be asked to drop everything you're doing um, in a minute and be asked to change into something completely different. So you need to go in every day with an open mind and be prepared to take everything on board. Was I've been in recruitment two years, so the changes I've seen may not be as different as some people who've come through the Celtic Tiger boom and now into this bit of a downturn. Um, for me, where I've seen the main difference is there's a lot more agencies out there. There's a lot of people, might just be one person, you know, who's calling themselves an agency. Could be some very established companies breaking into new areas. So there's a lot more competition for work. Candidates are faced with a lot more choices of who to go to for advice, which agencies to represent them. Um, so there's a lot of competition on that side. You need to work much faster, much smarter. And um, before there might have been two, three day turnaround on jobs. Now you need to turn them around within half an hour, an hour sometimes. Otherwise you might as well not work it at all. It's, it's already been filled by someone else who was that bit quicker than you. So that's the main change that I've seen is that you need to be much faster in the job. Um, like I said, for other people who've been in longer, we'll definitely see a downturn in terms of the amount of companies who are now doing recruitment themselves, who don't want to use an agency or cutting back costs, so that poses new challenges as well. I think positivity is one thing, you know, really the job is a roller coaster. there's a lot of ups and downs in it and you really need to be optimistic and positive to be able to come back up when you're going through a rough phase, when you're getting a lot of knocks and rejections to know that you will get through this and to know as well, you know, if you have a job that you can fill out, you will be able to find that person out there and you need to keep that positivity every day in the job. Um, I suppose one of the other main things you need to have is really to be self-motivated. You need to push yourself, the harder you work, the more you're going to succeed in the job and that's something that you really need to find within yourself. No manager is going to be able to push you constantly to achieve your targets, to achieve all your goals, personal and corporate. So to have that self-motivation is really going to um, be essential to succeed in the role. And then I suppose the third one then would be really resilience, to be able to take the knocks, to take it on the chin, know it's not personal when a company says no, they don't want to use you, or when a candidate says no, they don't want the job you're offering them. To be able to say, right, that's fine, that's their choice, and to be able to move on, you know, and be optimistic, be positive then, making that next call. Main thing I'd say is research. Know about the company that you're applying to, know about the team that they want you to work in, find out about the sector that they want you to recruit in, research all of them, go in with your eyes wide open, don't listen to all the, you know, the golden glow of it all that, you know, you're going to earn a lot of money very quickly. Go in, be realistic to know there are going to be knocks, there are going to be hard times. It is going to be a bit of a challenge, but it's worth it in the end of the day. But go in with your eyes wide open, research everything, ask as many questions as you possibly can, find out as much as you can about everything involved, meet as many of the team as well as you can, ask to meet people, ask to see where you'd be working, find out what kind of metrics you're going to be monitored on, um, find out about the management style if you can as well of the team, see how that's going to play out. Um, but really do as much research as possible before going in for an interview, before even applying. Find out if that is a company with a good training program, with low turnover, somewhere where you're really going to learn and be able to develop your career.
It really varies a lot from company to company. Um, it depends on the structure within the company and depends on the individual themselves, of course. Um, one option would be to move up through the ranks to go into a senior consultant role, into a team lead, into a principal role, up to managerial. Other options, depending on the company that you're working for, would include maybe going in-house, going on-site, doing in-house recruitment, or working with on-site managed services. So providing recruitment um, coordination for different agencies as well, helping to streamline the, streamline the recruitment process for different businesses. There's a lot of different options depending on the actual company that you're working for.